Welcome back, Seth Bling here, and I'm back on the Minecraft server, and it has been quite a while since my last Minecraft mm. episode. I took a bit of a break. Uh, there have been a lot of snapshots for the 1.8 update, and I've been playing around with those a lot. Uh, anyway, today is the Super Bowl. Uh, Seattle Seahawks versus Denver Broncos. So, I want to watch the Super Bowl, but we don't get very good reception here on the Minecraft server. So, I decided to build myself a TV and see what I could get. Uh, so I've, I just started laying it out. I'm going to build sort of a pre-LCD <laughs> style TV. Basically a, a CRT, you know, it's the, the big kind with a vacuum tube uh, and, the, and the big glass screen and everything. Uh, so it has some depth to it. Uh, basically I'm going to build around this frame. And uh, I've already started doing that, just kind of outlining it. Over here we have knobs for, you know, selecting channel and volume and... Uh, you can, if you get up here, you can rotate the knobs. <laughs> so, uh, but I have, I have some plans for this. It's going to take a bit of work, but we'll see if we can watch the Super Bowl <laughs> from my, my comfortably from my base here on the Minecraft server. Let me get to work and I'll show you mm, sort of the, uh, the outline of, of what I'm going to do. So I built myself a comfy chair, <laughs> uh, which in which I can relax while I'm watching the game. Here's what I've got so far with the TV. Uh, basically, the idea is I'm going to have, you know, you can see in there, there's kind of like a field. Uh, it's a little bit of a forced perspective uh, in order to make it look like the field is a little bit deeper than it is. Uh, it doesn't w work very well, but uh, you get the idea. Um, so if I, uh, if I come in here, you can see what, what all is going on. I had to add some torches in order to keep the light level high enough that mobs won't spawn in here. Uh, but uh, I want to try and get rid of those if I can. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. Uh, you can see I've got like the sideline here, and then uh, these are, uh, I guess, yard lines. And I'm going to be putting zombies in here. Maybe zombie pigmen as well. I've trapped a zombie over here. Oops. And I'm going to try and give him some stuff. I prepared a uniform for him. This guy is going to be a Seahawk. <laughs> Uh, I'll make some Broncos too. So we've got dark blue stuff, except the socks are white. Kind of looked up some images online. I don't know if this is actually gonna work. I think it will though. Yeah, there we go. Cool. So we got we got our first Seahawk here, and um, he's holding a piece of dirt too, which looks kind of like a football, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I I'm not sure if I can toss him other stuff to make him forget about the dirt. Let's actually try it. Nah. I don't think that's going to work. Anyway, so I'm going to get him to chase me up into the TV. And oh, I don't have the glass panes on my hotbar. I'm going to need those. Um, so, yeah. Come on, guy. <laughs> I know you... Oh, come on, man. I guess his pathfinding isn't smart enough, maybe. All right. So I'll make him chase me back up here. I'm going to have to find a way to close this up without, <laughs> without dying. I think I can get out, actually, if I... If I sprint from the top level, okay, got to get him way over here. <laughs> anyway, so I'm gonna I'm gonna be trapping a bunch of oh, ow, a bunch of uh, these zombies in here like this. I don't think he can get out now. And that yeah, that looks like a football guy, pretty much. He's got the armor on and everything. Uh, yeah, so we've got the light blue wool up in the sky. This used up almost all my light blue wool actually. I need to come up with a better system for getting wool than what I've got. And then in the back. Uh, I guess I can, well, I can hop back. Mm, okay, in the back, <laughs> there's room where I can put spectators. Um, my initial plan is to put villagers back there, but I am a little bit worried that all the zombies are going to just hang out way in the back and follow the villagers all the time, so I might come up with something else. Not sure what. Um, but this is what I've got for now. I'm going to cover up the screen. Well, I'll probably get more zombies and, and uh, maybe, probably zombie pigmen for the Broncos. I don't, that way it'll be like the two different teams yeah and uh oh i need to add some bunny ears on top <laughs> get some get some reception and uh yeah so i'm gonna add some more of that stuff we'll be right back all right so i'm trying to wrangle pigman uh it is actually pretty hard i think i can get this one through the portal though great so once i've gotten through the portal that's kind of the hard part uh, i don't want to attack the pigmen while they're in the nether but I don't mind attacking the pigmen while they're at my base, because there's no other pigmen to really anger. So I just got to make sure that 
only one pig man at a time is out and about and able to attack me. So I'm gonna come up here. Uh oh, this jump is not helpful. Okay, we're good. We're good. And uh, the zombie pig man is gonna follow me up here. Oh, maybe not. Yeah. So zombie pig man have kind of uh, a dummy, <laughs> dumb AI for following players. So I need to. He he actually walks in a straight line. So I need to back him up and uh, give myself a bit of a space. But I'm gonna try and line it up so that the zombie pig men will chase me right up the stairs that I've made. Just temporary dirt stairs, just so I can get these uh, these mobs where I want them. Okay, I just gotta make sure I get up. Oh, oh, jeez! No, 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 no. Okay, we're good. Whew. If I fell in the pit there, that would have been real bad, because there's already a few zombie pigmen and zombies in there. Um, okay, so I got him in the pit, but I gotta be real careful here because uh, basically there's a bunch of these guys that are really angry at me <laughs> right now. Uh, so, let's see if I can get this zombie pig man his uniform. I've already I've got two more uniforms in, in my inventory for the Broncos. The zombie pig man are the Broncos, so let's let's see. I think... Yeah, he's wearing the boots. Okay, great. So, if I just drop all of these... Yeah, in fact, I think they can pick it up through the, through the glass pane here. So, I, in fact, I don't even have to try and drop it over. There we go. There's, this, there's the uniform. It's got an orange tunic, white pants and uh, socks, and then the sort of dark helmet. Um, so I still need one more. I'm, my plan is to go uh, three zombie pigmen and three zombies. And I should make this a little bit safer for the next one that I do. I really almost got knocked, knocked in there, and that would have been very bad. I might have died, actually. Um, yeah, so I'm going to keep going, and I'll get the last zombie pigmen in there, and then we'll do the next thing. All right, it's time to put the finishing touches on the TV. I decided <laughs> that uh, villagers probably weren't actually a good idea because of all the zombies and the fact that the zombies would probably be very mad at the villagers. So uh, if I can get this to work, I'm going to put cows in here. Um, I'm sure that not all of them are going to come all at once. Oh, uh, hmm. OK. I'm gonna get some of these guys situated. I don't know. I, I'm not that uh, experienced with the uh, the leads here. Okay, so I think I got them all detached. Go ahead and drop down a piece of wood. Um, cows are two blocks tall, so that should stop them from uh, leaving. Oh my god, that's morbid. <laughs> all right. Well, I want to go back and grab a couple more cows. I'll actually show you how uh, how I've, how I uh, grabbed them. It's pretty simple. I actually used a fishing rod. Uh, now, I am from Seattle, so I definitely will be watching the Super Bowl today. Seahawks have uh, have had a pretty good season. I don't really watch football that avidly or anything, but uh, <laughs> I guess you can call me a fair weather fan. I, 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 I like watching football. I actually don't really care that much who wins. I like just like to see the good play. Um, generally, I kind of prefer esports, though, to actual sports. but. <laughs> But, uh, but football's, football's pretty good as, as far as sports go. Uh, it's a little bit light on the action sometimes, just because there's a lot of time between plays. But I grew up with baseball, so I'm a little bit used to that. Oh my god. Come here. Alright, let's see if I can get these guys in without killing them. I, I gotta... I, I, feel, I feel bad about killing the other cows. <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, I, I do also like the Super Bowl, even... If the the Seahawks, my team, well, my city's team, I guess, uh, isn't in it, I usually like watching the Super Bowl, both for the commercials and because the game usually comes down to a very close finish, in my experience, and it's usually very exciting. So I like that a lot, and I think it's one of the more exciting games, and it's kind of a cultural phenomenon in America. Uh, if you don't know what I'm talking about with the Super Bowl, I guess I should explain that now. It's football. American football. But I think probably most people know that. Uh, there's this one cow. Okay, I think if I just pull real hard, they're going to come in. Yeah. And then I just got to go on this side of them. Uh, remove the restraints. Remove the restraints. Let's, um, let's see if I can get... Oh, man. I, wanna, I just want to close this up. Uh, I'm going to remove... What? Okay, so there's one over here. Grab this one. 
This is it's really hard to see what's going on. I think I got all of them now. Um, I guess I could just leave this block here. It's not really doing any harm, but I'm gonna go ahead and remove it. All right, so now we're good. I can just pop out, uh, cover up that hole, break up all this dirt that I just placed in order to get all those cows up there, and I think we're about done. Let's take a look from the front. You can hear all those zombies, zombie pigmen. Um, they are still aggro at me, but since there's glass in the way, they can't see me, so it's all good. Uh, some of them are hiding way back there. I'm not sure why. I think they're just walking around randomly. Um, but yeah, you can see it. We've got three Broncos. Uh, well, we can only see one Seahawk right now because the other two are hiding, I believe. I hope they aren't gone or something. They shouldn't be. I, I really can't see, though. Uh, I think I see at least one more in there. I don't know why he's stuck in the corner, though. Anyway, they're there. <laughs> uh, let me go enjoy the view from my recliner. Ah, that's nice. Super Bowl action. So there we go. Uh, that's a, that's it for that project. I, I put some glowstone on the roof. I got the the rabbit ears up here. Uh, from a <laughs> rabbit ears are from a prior age that a lot of kids will not understand, but they're basically just antenna used to receive the signal over air. <laughs> but you don't really need them anymore these days. I I think most people have cable and that sort of. That sort of thing. Anyway, that's the project. Um, but there's some other stuff. Since I haven't been on the server for so long, uh, I would like to go check up on some things. For instance, I haven't been back to Bling Mart in quite a while, and I want to check what's going on there. Um, I did check the uh, cactus farm and the uh, the reed farm. There's actually not much there that uh, that wasn't there before. Just because when I when I log out, none of that stuff is actually running anymore because the chunks aren't loaded. So, uh, so that's good because that means that no one else was being lagged by my machines. Uh, but I, I haven't been accumulating resources or anything over that period of time. Uh, but my store has been available and people could have been using it. And uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff in Spawn Town since I was last actively playing. So that's pretty cool. Uh, actually, yeah, the message board over here. A lot of people are using it. I'm really, I'm really happy about that. It's got lapis, ex lapis exchange, lapis exchange plus, block exchange, uh, crap for gold. That's Jerry P's thing. Pick a pick. BTC's flower shop. Beef still smells. <laughs> With one L. I'm really glad people are using it though, because I, I was a little bit afraid that that I would put all this work into it and, and no one would really use it. It's kind of cool that it's like a advertising board. Uh oh, I think shop by Seth. This is a sign by PTC. He's putting a bunch of these signs around. I think I'm bugged out. <laughs> um, let me let me try joining again. Okay. Um, yeah, I think we're good now. Yeah, BTC was putting up signs everywhere because people were complaining that people didn't have signs up. Um, oh yeah, actually, I guess I want to go in the back. Uh, I I did I, I do think that most of the stuff is sold out that's valuable. People don't seem to want to buy redstone, I guess. Um, even I, I put in some ink sacks and and those have sold out pretty well. The leather even been selling, so that's good. Let's take a look out back and see what uh what is sold oh there are christmas presents here these are uh a month overdue so i will check those out in a minute but let's look at what we've got a little over a stack of diamonds so that's pretty good yeah uh that's cool because there wasn't that much left in my shop even you know two months ago or whatever when i uh or i guess more like a month and a half ago last last i was playing so we got some presents here i think the ones on this side are from Paul Soros Jr. I'm not exactly sure. Um, Redstone Beginner's Kit. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Just like one of everything you need to get started with Redstone. TNT. Diamond Sword Hilt. Yeah, I can use the diamonds from my shop for <laughs> to make the rest of the Diamond Sword. So that's cool. Um, yeah, yeah, this is to y'all from PSJ. There was a tree up here. Uh, Christmas tree. But I guess it's been taken down since. I think I have something, another package in here somewhere. I didn't really participate in, in, the, in the Christmas thing because at the time I just wasn't really playing. Just doing other stuff. I thought I had another... It's got to be an alphabetical order. Seth, there we are. Oh, diamond pick. Um, let's see, this is from... 
I guess Doc. This must be from Doc. So let's take a look at Doc's Christmas card. I wish you a lot of inspiration for your videos and all the success you can have in 2014. May the redstone gods be with you. Well, thank you, Doc. Very nice of you. Um, Pyro has given me a bunch of blocks of redstone. Uh, <laughs> even though I'm selling them in my store, but uh, but still, it's, you know, it's thoughtful. Uh, Seth, you like redstone, so I enjoy. That's true, I do like redstone. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you, Pyro. Very nice of you. Uh, <laughs> I guess I got a lump of my coal. Thanks. Another diamond sword hilt. I wonder if that's from PSJ as well. Uh, another another stack of redstone blocks from Andersel. What to give? What to give the richest guy on the server? Something I don't like or have any use for? Redstone. Well, it's the thought that counts, Andersel. <laughs> so there we go. I think think that's all the gifts. I really apologize if I missed anything, but I think that is it. Um, yeah, it's, I'm kind of sorry that I'm so late getting to all this stuff, uh, but yeah, so that's that's pretty much it. There's a lot of new stuff in the spawn town. I actually, uh, I, I did record some footage of myself uh, coming in here and kind of cleaning out the Pyro's Lapis Exchange. Where is that? It's over here. I actually think the building looks really nice. Um, lapis Exchange Plus, that's right. Uh, I came in here and I had a lot of lapis and there were diamonds for four lapis blocks so uh, I bought a bunch of diamonds, I bought a bunch of iron um, I think I spent like eight stacks of lapis uh, on that on that stuff um, just because it seemed so cheap but there were still leftovers, I didn't take everything and, and he restocked the store as well so I don't, I don't feel bad about it. Of course immediately after I do that they uh, Mojang announces that they're gonna they're gonna uh, make lapis useful for enchanting, so good work. <laughs> uh, this store here is closed. Ongoing investigation. Minecraft Police Department. I think this is a B Team Bakery. Uh, of course, that's probably the front for some shady dealings. Anyway, so that's uh, I guess that's pretty much all I wanted to check out here. Uh, let's go on to the next thing. All right, to close it out, I want to switch gears a little bit and uh, let's talk about what's underground. So I've shown off this uh, this little X-ray machine before. Uh, I've been working a little bit to try and light up the areas underneath my base because if I ever want to build a mob trap or anything, I will not want mobs spawning uh, in the underground area around my base. So I just want to show you guys what sort of process I'm going through in order to light up the caves underground. Obviously here I can identify there's like a cave over there. Let's go ahead and light that one up. Um, so in order to do that, uh, I need to pinpoint it a little bit more precisely. So I'm just gonna start heading in that direction. And when I think I'm probably somewhere kind of close and I have a good spot for digging down, maybe maybe right here, let's try it. Um, I'm just gonna use the x-ray trick that I showed previously. Uh, and I'm just gonna look and it's really quick to set up. So it's very easy. Uh, of course, I am looking now at a pathway that I built previously, and I can't actually, I'm not actually sure where that unlit thing is. So let me try again. Um, I'm just going to fill in the area that I just dug out. Very quick to just try a couple times, right? Uh, let's try, I think it's actually too far over here. So, hmm, but I have all this stuff underground. Uh, I think I'll try right here, and we'll see, we'll just see what it looks like. So let me get the fences back, and let's try it here. There we go. Okay, so it's right there. Um, actually, we were probably in about the right spot when we were looking from, uh, and that, and and this this uh, tunnel was in the way. This is a tunnel, by the way. I don't know if I ever showed it in a video. This tunnel goes all the way over to spawn. Yeah, I think I did show it. Never mind. <laughs> uh, so let's head back over that direction. See if we can pinpoint it a little bit more precisely. I'm going to try it right here. I'm probably going to probably going to hit that tunnel again, but oops. Uh, if I do, if I do it too far away from the fences, it doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, so now we're right above it and I can even see that there's no lava in the way or anything. I can actually dig straight down and uh, I know for sure that I'm not going to hit lava. So, uh, this is nice and easy, very quick, and I will be able to just light up this cave. So, let's just get down here. And I know I'm right over it, so 
I don't have to be like, uh, am I quite in the right place? Now this cave isn't so bad because um, I don't think there's actually any spots that mobs can spawn because all of the all of the spaces with solid solid blocks in the ground and not water are only one block high. So I guess it wasn't super necessary for me to light this up, but still was a pretty good demonstration of what I go through in order to light up the areas. And then as I'm going back up, I'll just fill in the area and uh, the area I just dug out and uh, it'll look just like normal. Actually, I should have kept some of that dirt probably. Uh, I will grab some extra dirt here just so I can kind of cover it up and it doesn't, uh, whoops, doesn't look like a hole in the ground. But yeah, so th that's, that's what I'm doing and uh, I'm gonna keep doing that a little bit, but I've got most of the area underneath my base already dug out or already uh, already lit up so when I do decide really I ran out of huh, okay didn't expect to run out of blocks there um, all right because I had to tunnel up a bit anyway when I do decide to, to build that mob trap or whatever I will not have a ton of extra spawns all around my uh, you know in the underground area around my base so that's pretty cool but I guess that about wraps up this episode thanks for watching